How you doing? Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Uh, we're doing today is we're going to add some resistors to our turn signal circuit. I put LED turn signals on my Dynaglide here. And, uh, you know, they blink really fast because it doesn't draw enough current as a normal incandescent bulb. So the system thinks a bulb is burned out and it blinks them really fast as a warning to you. So, uh, of course, Harley sells some aftermarket thing, uh, which you can just plug and play and be good to go. Or you can buy these little resistors on Amazon for under $10. The only catch is you're going to have to go into your harness and you're going to have to solder these suckers in. Um, but you hook them up here, your yellow line to your positive lead, then the black line to your neutral. And I need to tape up that little damage there. And, um, and you know, then these things basically draw that little bit extra resistor current. So you get the cool, bright LED turn signals without uh, having to do the higher rent conversion kit. This will just draw enough current so they blink properly. Um, so, yep, let's get to it. So I already looked through the wiring diagram here. So it's the purple wire and the brown wire that go to my turn signals. And you don't have to do this on all four. You just got to put one for your left side and one for your right side in your system, and it'll work. So we're going to cut into the brown wire here. <clears throat> I would guess it's probably purple and brown on most Harleys, because Harley does love to standardize things. But you should check with your service manual uh, before you confirm that. There's 05 Dynaglide. Uh, you have to check there for yourself. So, not a lot of wire to work with here, but in case you're wondering, how these cool strippers, they, as they close down, they pinch the wire here. Well, they pinch the wire, then it grabs it back here with a little gripper, and you squeeze some more, strips them off. These things are like 50 years old, and they still work amazing. Not joking about the age either. I belong to my grandfather. All right, next step to soldering. Dip your wire in a little flux there. What this does is, as this gets baked off the wire, off the conductor, it cooks all the corrosion off. So you smear a little on there, then we're going to smear a little on in here. And we're going to smear it down here onto this one too. One of the cool things I've scored over the years is this little soldering stand. This one's actually from Harbor Freight. Um, and say what you will about Harbor Freight tools, but every once in a while, they come up with a little genius little thing. So, it's got little alligator clips on it. So I can clip the wires into it here. I can clip the wires in there. Let's move the other stuff out of the way, so it's a little less chaotic. And you can turn all your little conductors there, right to wherever they need to be. And we're going to take this one here. Really, right now, a third clamp would be amazing, but we don't have it. So I'm going to try and balance this and probably get frustrated with it. Right here, we're going to try putting them both in this little clamp here. We're going to take both these here. There's a better idea. We're going to twist them together. We're going to take this clamp here. Hopefully, everybody can still see what's going on there. All right. So, a little patience here at getting everything in place. But these little clamps, this little stand, holds it all in place there, just like that. All right, so, got my soldering gun here. Got my solder here. Got flux on the wire. Let's just add a little bit more on there in case I, I wiped it all off. Smoosh it down in there. I'm going to take the soldering gun here. We're going to heat up the conductor. And it should start smoking when the solder begins to melt off. Or, I'm sorry, when the uh, flux begins to melt off. And we're going to hold her. You'll see, as you solder this here, solder all flows into the copper conductors there. Nice and smooth, doesn't bobble up on top, flows right in there. We'll put too much in because that's usually how I roll. I'm going to pull the heat back, give it a second. When it loses that little bit of shine and gets the gray hue, you know it's cooled enough that it's solid. 
And that pretty much is that. Just do that with all the rest of the wires there. Yellows go to your hot positive lead, black goes to the negative. I already did the rest of them. You either use um, shrink tube on here, or due to the short conductor here, I had to use, uh, I'm gonna have to wrap this in electrical tape, um, just because the shrink tube would have melted. But that, Just like that, they blink at the rate they should. There you have it.